Hey everyone, Andy here. I'm just off to go and get my blood test done. Um, I'm not going to get the results for a little while, but hey, we're getting things done. I've got my scan done on Saturday, and now today is blood test day. And then hopefully, this will show up any results from the HDL levels. Um, and... Uh, We'll get some answers and fingers crossed it's all okay i'll check in with you in a bit i've got to get going because i'm running a bit late uh, but yeah i'll speak to you soon okay i made it here to the doctors i've got a taxi here because uh my legs aren't great i think i've got to make a phone call but i don't really know i'm gonna have a look at some of these uh signs on the wall there's quite a few you can have a look Look, we've got quite a lot up here. Do not enter. Um, where's the one that says, please call me? Um, I'm not really quite sure what to do there. Normally. Okay, so I'll put you onto my, uh, from my gimbal onto my little handheld point and shoot thing. Um, the nurse is just coming to get me for my blood test now, so fingers crossed. Well, won't find out for a week or so, I think. But I might see if I can film it for you. <laughs> I don't know whether you want to see that. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so I've got my uh, my blood test done. It took them a while. I've got like a thing on each arm and they got it out of my hand in the end. But there's the doctors in the background. Fingers crossed. They said it would take 48 hours for the blood test to come back, apparently. So Wednesday, Thursday, hopefully I'll get a phone call with the results. All right, I'll tell you, I'm just gonna... I took you out. I took you out of the gimbal because uh, it was just a bit much. I haven't quite got used to how to use it, but I don't like doing all this shaky footage. Um, so I'll keep it short. I'm walking home. I'll check back in when I get home and let you know how uh, how, uh, how long it took me because at the moment my knees feel like they've got no cartilage in them, and it's just bone grinding on bone, but. I'll get on with it, let's go. See you in a bit, people. So I just wanted to stop and let you know how uh, how it feels um, going through this experience after 10 years. It's pretty bizarre and scary and um, there's loads of lorries and that going past. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre and scary, and uh, uh, it's, it, it's it's making it clearer how it affected me such a long time ago, and how much stronger I am now because I can cope with it a lot better. But I think deep down there's a lot of fear there, but I don't know how to show it. Um, I just wanted to let you know that. Um, there's no shame in fear. There's no shame in fear at all. It makes us stronger. So embrace it. You know what I mean? Embrace the fear. Don't let it rule you. You rule it. Alright, see you soon. You, know, you can't walk through my town without speaking to lots of people. It's a small town and everyone knows everyone, so you're sort of like, hello, hello, hello. Is Matt working? No, he's not. Oh, no. There's just so many people around, but you know, it's lovely. It's a really nice feeling to be able to walk through your town and just see all these awesome people. Cool. I've got to show you this. Look how busy this looks. Thriving. 
back from my uh, trip to the doctors. Sorry about the flat, it's a bit messy, but I haven't had time to do that because I've been so busy making videos, which is keeping me happy and positive. So, I'm trying a new style of making videos where I basically try and vlog my day in little parts and make an interesting story out of it or something funny and we'll see how it goes. Let's just keep my fingers crossed that they get these results. I can get some testosterone injection treatment and start getting my health back a bit and not, not in so much pain. And um, yeah, just start to be able to get out and do as much vlogging as I can again. Because um, it's been really hard and it's, it's really getting me down not being able to get out. Like, it's a lovely day. I feel like I could go and do a load of stuff, but at the same time, I know that I'm going to suffer tomorrow if I go and do that. So I'm trying to work out how I can sort of moderate things so that I'm just doing things in a in a healthy way, but in a like I'm still doing things in a positive way as well for me mentally. I don't know whether that makes any sense, but I might not even put it in. You never know. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is my day of getting my blood test done. Now I'm going to go and film a positive quote for tomorrow. And, um, yeah, probably work on a... I've got to do a video about addiction. Um, that's my next thing that I want to talk about is uh, addiction to painkillers and... Um, how that led me down a path. There's also a really a lot of strength to get out of that story because I'm still here through everything. And you know what? I'm smashing it. I'm I'm doing my reductions. I'm coming off the medication I've been put on because of the problems to do with low testosterone. So I'm I, I'm I'm doing amazing, and I've got to keep telling myself that and be positive in everything that I do and try and give it my 100%, but know at the same time, sorry, bell's going bonkers, know at the same time that I can't quite push myself as much as I'd like to and don't beat myself up because of that, because that's what I tend to do. So, and then I end up going out and doing things and overdoing it and making myself really a load worse than what I mean if I just did do do what I can and not focus on what I can't that's it that's what I want to do <laughs> right speak to your scene everyone and um yeah stay safe and um keep strong too in here as well really important that you uh that you try and keep a smile on your face but don't forget it's okay being positive doesn't mean you've got to be smiley all the time, right? It's okay to have feelings, but it's knowing that those feelings are going to go away and you're going to get back to that positive. You know that that's, that positive person is still there. You're just going through something and you need to deal with it in that way. And that positive person will come back out once you've dealt with it. And uh, you probably don't see that in a lot of vlogs, which I want to try and show like the stress of what what has happened to me how it affects me but i don't know how to do that quite yet it's all new to me and i'm it's every video i make seems to open up my eyes to something else and um and i can improve on and me make myself feel better about and uh, it's it's really great and i want it for everyone else so that's why i share what i do what, what, I've, what i've been through and well, I'm doing what I'm doing, really, to inspire other people and show them that, you know what I mean, you can go through ups and downs in life and, uh, you know what I mean, you can think that there's a lot of downs, but really all those downsides, there's something positive to be taken from every single one of them. Strength. And if you can do that and you can look through all of those things and see your strengths, then you're going to be all right. Um, I think, the, you know what I mean, that, that's, that takes something, it's taken me 10 years um, to figure all these things out, but 
mindfulness and CBT's really helped me. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Peace out.